Hello? My lord, please forgive me for disturbing you. It's me, Amy. I believe you called for me. At least that's what Hana told me. Whatever task you have for me, I will gladly see it through, whether it be cooking or cleaning or killing. Oh, there is no need to apologize to me, my lord. Don't worry about the time. You can call me as late as you want, any time at all. Even if it's as late as it is right now. Even if you were to wake me up while I was having sweet dreams. My sweetest and only dream is to serve you. Even if I were to give every part of myself to you, down to my very life and soul, it would not be enough to repay your divine grace. You're the god of this shrine. It is due to your mere presence on this island that the crops grow and the rivers flow. Without you, the soil would be barren and the land dry. Ah. But, sorry, I assume you didn't call me here just to have me praise and worship you. But... If you did, I will definitely do so. It comes naturally to me after all. In fact, it's what I was doing right before you called me. Um, so, what did you call me for, my lord? How may I serve you? Well, what's there to know about little old me? I'm just an irrelevant, boring fox girl. The only interesting thing about me is that I have the great honor of being the servant to the most wonderful and esteemed god in the universe. That, of course, being you, my lord. Yes, I do indeed have several. Well, I don't know if I'd call them hobbies, but they're more like compulsions. I like to talk to Hannah about you, if that counts. Sometimes I get a bit jealous towards Hannah. I get a bit jealous that I'm not the only girl to have the immense pleasure of being your servant. But Hana is a good girl who makes sure to understand her place, so I tolerate it. Much to her benefit. Anyways, I do enjoy her company, though. It gives me a chance to fangirl over you. I tell her how grateful I am about the blessings you have given me. That I may see my God every day close up. That he remembers me and even talks to me. I am unworthy to even gaze upon the ground that you have walked on, and to think you're even asking me about my hobbies. This is what I talk to Hannah about, that you are such a great and merciful god. That you have a place where even lowly mortals such as myself in your heart. I... I'm overwhelmed with guilt in your presence. Even for a god, you are divine. Your perfection is beyond my comprehension. And yet you show such great mercy in sharing your time with little old Emmy. I will never forget this kindness. Yes, talking to Hannah about you isn't the only one. My life is centered around you, not her. I also like to make clothes. Well, not just any clothes, though. I like to make clothes that look like the ones that you wear. I hope you won't be angry with me, my lord, but I make copies of the kinds of clothes you wear, and I pretend that they are truly yours. 
that they are the very clothes you wear. Then again, I hope you're not angry with me, my lord. But I like to wrap them around myself. It's exhilarating to wrap myself up in the very same fabrics that you've touched. That you've worn yourself. Or, at least, that's what my pretend fantasy is. But, 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 but don't worry, I never do it with your actual clothes. I could never soil them in such a way that would be sacrilegious. If I were to confess to you, what would you say? Yes?